But there are increasing calls for Margaret Ferrier to resign after she was suspended by the SNP for travelling to Westminster despite experiencing COVID symptoms and then returning home by train after testing positive. We're joined now by the leader of the Scottish Conservative Party, Douglas Ross. Good morning to you. Do you think that she should resign over this? She has apologised. She says she's deeply regretted her actions. Does that go far enough? No, they don't. She has to resign. Her actions were reckless, they were dangerous, and they have absolutely undermined the public health message we are trying to uh, get out across Scotland and every part of the United Kingdom. It is simply indefensible and she has to go. She's going to be referring herself to the Parliamentary Standards Commissioner as well as the police on this. She obviously is extremely sorry for what happened. Do you think there's any justification here? She, I think, talked about the fact that she took the test on Saturday, she travelled to London on Monday, she had been feeling better, which is why she undertook that journey. Is there any justification for it, do you think? No, not at all, because we have been urging the public to follow uh, very simple advice if they have symptoms, that is to self-isolate, to get a test, to wait until you get that test result. And at every opportunity, Margaret Ferrier had the chance to follow that guidance. But when she got a positive COVID test, she still travelled from London to Glasgow on public transport. She has put other people at risk of this infection. An infection that is still, uh, sadly, too widespread amongst our communities and is still taking lives here in Scotland and across the UK and in many parts of the world. We are not on top of this virus yet. And the actions of Margaret Ferrier have seriously endangered uh, a number of people and also undermined everything we're doing to try and beat this virus. She's not the only one that's done it, is she, who's been in a, in a senior political role? You know, we've seen the rules flouted by Dominic Cummings, Jeremy Corbyn, Professor Professor Neil Ferguson, Dr Catherine Calderwood. There's been quite a list of people, hasn't there, that uh, we can point the finger at. How much do you think it undermines public trust when they look at people like that and they're thinking, well, it's OK for them, therefore I can do it too? Well, it does, and that's why I ultimately remind, uh, resigned my role uh, as a government minister over the Dominic Cummings situation. But these were all of a different magnitude to someone, an SNP politician, having tested positive and knowingly then get in public transport, you know, a five-hour train journey from London to Glasgow, the journey from Glasgow to Rutherglen. How many people did she come into contact with knowing that she was infectious, having had a positive test of COVID-19? And there's also serious questions here for the SNP. When did they know? They, they removed the whip from Margaret Ferrier, but not when they found out about her actions, only when there was a public outcry about it on social media. That's not the appropriate uh, approach of a, a party. You know, they should have taken this action immediately as soon as they knew she took public transport when she had had a positive COVID-19 test. In general, there has been praise for the way that Nicola Sturgeon has handled this situation in Scotland. There has been criticism, though, of how Boris Johnson has dealt with it, leading to confusion because there hasn't been clarity over the rules. How, how would you compare their stance on this and how important that is? Well, I think most neutral observers, when they look at the um, actions that have been taken in Scotland and across the UK, find that we have taken a, a fairly similar course. Uh, the four nations of the United Kingdom have roughly followed the same advice, the same guidance and the same instructions throughout this COVID pandemic. But sadly, the actions of Margaret Ferrier undermine not only what we're trying to do here in Scotland, but right across the country. OK, thank you very much. That's Douglas Ross there, the leader of the Scottish Conservative Party. We appreciate you joining us this morning.